What up everybody? So I decided that I want to share and show you guys what a typical day looks like living at the training center. Um, just woke up and first thing I did was went over and uh, took a cold shower and then also drank a liter of water. Gotta fill that up now. Yeah, let's get this day started and enough talking. Let me just show you. All right, guys, time to head down to breakfast. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Oh, never forget your room key. Boom, got it. Check out this mug. All right. What up, Keith? Good morning. How you doing? It's beautiful and sunny. It is. Dude, it's getting better. Yeah. Here at the Chula Vista Elite at the Training Center. Got to have a balanced breakfast. Let's see, we got the, what, pineapple? Har little pineapple, hard egg. egg, some oatmeal, orange juice, Dude, and a smoothie. Let's go. That's how we do it. Let's go. All right, enjoy your day. Yeah, man. Later, man. Hey, good morning. Filled up some water. I got my coffee and about to have a tiny bit of fruit, just a little bit in the room. I got a watermelon in there. Then read, read before I head into sports med and start doing some prehab stuff. Then I'll get a little break and head down the track. I think it's a beautiful day. All right, just finished reading. After I'm done reading, this is what I do now. Um, right here, you can see, I got my goals right here. So I write down my daily goals, like spiritual, mental, physical, nutrition, reading, finance, like long jump, social media, like whatever it is. And then right here in this portion, the self-talk, I, I make sure that I put some positive things in there. And then I got the time here. This is how I kind of keep track of my day so I can see how I'm spending my time throughout the day. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do, fill that out right now. And then gotta head to sports med, do a little prehab. Um, prehab for me is super important. Um, when I was in college, it wasn't as much like prehab needed. 
uh, when I was a little bit younger, could kind of just warm up and go. So as you get further along in your career, perform more efficiently in your sport. So that's also considered prehab. Harry working hard. More YouTube, dude. You're making appearances. What up? Let's go. Come here, John. Come here. Look at you. Look at you, buddy. You're so happy. Oh, you're gonna get on the power play today? Sometimes when you have pain, you go through that same motion with vibration. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Yeah, I'd probably be on it too. What are you doing today? Can I work out? Probably. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Do you guys have a community tour or something? Gotcha. Hey. McGill spine routine I found for me that, that helped a ton when I had low back pain when I had sciatica and when I found out I had a herniated, herniated disc in my L5S1. Um, that teaches a lot of hip hinging and how to move through the spine and for me that helped a ton. Now on to the Estonia spine routine. Go higher Harrison. Yeah dude. You still got a foot. Oh. Okay. Yeah you do. <laughs> You should try though, I'm recording. Hey, stop I think if you stood up straighter, you'd get closer. See y'all later. Have a good one. Bye, Tron. I gotta head down to practice. I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. I'm getting a little hungry, so I got a protein shake in my backpack and just need to grab an apple and then I'll be good to go. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Hola. Hola, Hola. That's an interesting bird right there. I don't know what that is. Wow. Yo, fish, what kind of bird is that? It's like normal hawk, right? No, they don't. Wow. Looks like a falcon. It's really good looking. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Thank you. 
Got the Air Maxes. All right, everybody, of uh, the workout, the choice of the day is gonna be the Cheetah, or the Oster Cheetah XL. This one's their sprint foot. That's what I'm gonna wear today for my dribbles. And then right now, I'm also wearing the Cheetah Ex uh, Explore. That's the old running foot, it has a heel on it. So you can use it for pretty much everything. Uh, the cool thing about dribbles is it replicates a sprint motion, same cycling motion as sprinting, but it's a lot lower impact. So helps teach you rhythm and timing. So we're gonna do 80 meter dribbles and I'm gonna try and focus on just being right over the calf. And so far this week has been the best week so far. Um, this is week two now of just doing these dribbles. Um, today's gonna be a good test. So gonna start warming up. noticing right now um, just like doing some retests and some hamstring stuff that I do every day for normal warm-ups it's starting to already feel better so that's a really good sign there goes Hagen Was good so every day like or this week at least my arm drills are feeling better and better it's a really good sign that the program is working so i think i'm ready to get started so i just did four reps i thought i was recording this is why i need you to record coach all right i don't know what happened but we got two more reps we're doing 80 meter dribbles starting back there ending at the last blue cone right there right there so for some reason my phone just stops recording i think it just automatically stopped and i looked to see if storage was full it's not i have a two terabyte icloud it's not full but for some reason my phone just stops recording so i was hitting record i know i'm not going crazy i don't know what's going on though gotta figure that out all right i got any more episode.